Today we are going to be reviewing the Mac Studio and I got this machine, Mac Studio, purposely for editing our YouTube videos here. I'm going to be unboxing it and doing a review of it specifically for video editing and maybe for uh, photo editing and animation. So if you want to get a Mac Studio or you are planning on getting one, this video I'm going to break down some of my experiences, some of the good and the bad. So let's start with the unboxing. This is the 32 gig version 512 Mac Studio with M2 Max chip. This one has 12 core CPU and 30 core GPUs. The seal is broken. So this is the Apple logo here. So it has some paper works. So this is the machine itself. So this is the Mac Studio and it's quite heavy I must say this is how the under looks like this is the back it has four Thunderbolts port two USB one HDMI cable and one headphone jack it is the power button and it has an SD card which is really good because you'll be shooting sometimes with a camera which requires SD card and the front also has USB Type-C port I can say the packaging really looks nice it looks cute you know it's quite interesting what you get by spending this amount of money and you are only getting just a trash can and a power brick is crazy but stay tuned because I'm going to turn it on and show Show you the performance editing video in Premiere Pro and editing video in CapCut. So stay tuned for that. A few moments later. So this is my review after testing this. The main reason why I bought this machine is because I want to use it for video editing. So I'm going to share my experience using this for video editing, specifically in Premiere Pro and also CapCut. When I was using my old laptop, which is the Lenovo Legend 7 Gen for i7, 32 gigs of RAM on a Windows machine, the export speed in Premiere Pro and in CapCut, anytime I'm editing videos was really poor. I mean, sometimes it really got frustrating because I was in a hurry. God, please, no, no! So I felt the need to upgrade to this. And yesterday, whilst I was editing my videos, I can tell you that the speed of this was crazy. It was unbelievable because I was like, oh my God, I couldn't believe it, you know? So in Premiere Pro, the Mac Studio rendered my eight minutes video in less than two minutes, roughly two minutes. And we normally edit our videos in Premiere Pro and we take it to CapCut to add text effects and others. And we took it to CapCut and we're rendering a 4K video. It also did that in less than two minutes. So when it comes to speed for editing, I can highly recommend this machine and it's going to be a game changer for us. So later on, when I was also editing my YouTube thumbnails on this machine, I realized that the experience was smooth even smoother than my m3 max 32 gig so i was like i was concerned why is this smooth but maybe it was just because i was loving the experience <laughs> Boy. designing in photoshop on this mac was also really smooth and i really enjoyed it throughout the process even whilst rendering i never heard the fan kick in everything was like silence and i was like oh my god and i was rendering a 4k video multitasking have browsers open and all that this machine was quiet and it was crazy fast my overall experience has been really positive with this machine and I'm going to really enjoy using this machine. My only drawback with this was that after opening the box, I realized that it didn't come with a keyboard and a mouse. What? So I had to get an extra keyboard and mouse. So I got one and that's what I'm using. I got the Logitech MX Master Mouse 3S and a Logitech keyboard. So if you're getting this machine, I don't know why you shouldn't get a wireless keyboard because you want everything to be really wireless. So that is my review of this machine. Please subscribe to this channel if this video has been helpful to you. And also comment below and like this video. It helps with the algorithm.